Yeah, Azir ban versus Scout, Syndra ban versus Knight, not bad as well. They always ban Azir, JDG, Knight just doesn't play it. There's no way. Are they going to ban Kaiser here, JDG? This is really weird. I think Kais has a bit overrated, but this pick ban is a bit odd with double AD bans. Rumble ban. It makes sense. Do you ban Jarvan, right? Poppy, Lee Sin, Kaisa, Ari, Syndra? There's so many ADs, there's so many champs you could ban. Rakan, well. yeah, Even missing Rakan is insane. In Super OP first pick there for uh, JDG. I think they're already like a little bit ahead. I think Alistar, Syndra could be a nice response here from LNG. Kaisa, Syndra, Kaisa, Alistar could be good because they don't have to pick Syndra, they can pick on three. Jarvan is going to be a really good pick as well, though. That's going to be Syndra on three, then, for sure. I mean, here they can do bot lane as well if they want JDG to match. But Ruler hasn't played that much of Helios. There's a Lee Sin, yeah. Lee Sin, Jarvan is easy for Kanabi. Vi is also seems to be really OP this world. <coughs> what AD does Ruler? What's, does Ruler play Varus? Yeah, he's thinking Varus. I don't know if he's going to play Aphelios. Ah, uh, he's going to play Zeri. Ah, of course he's going to play Zeri. His little one trick. His little one trick. What do you think about Poppy here for LNG? No? What do you think about Poppy? They're going to have to drop mid if they lose Syndra Ari. That stings. But Poppy on three here could be good. He might play LeBlanc. Oh, Akali. I like that pick. I like Akali here. Um, Akali could pick really into Orianna, like I think. Orin ban versus 369, uh, classic. Well. They could ban Braum as well, LNG. But actually, if they have Braum, they have no lockdown. They could ban Nautilus if they want to stop the Vi Nautilus lockdown on Akali. Braum would be fine to play against, but Braum's really annoying for Alistar. Yeah, Cassante looks like a bit of an annoying champ now. Renekton ban. I think that LNG is going to pick Cassante on 4 here. They're going to pick Cassante on 4, and then they're going to play Jarvan on 5. And 369, what are you going to play into Cassante? He's going to play Nar maybe or Sion I don't know if they drop Cassante here they're griefing oh my god they must have something into Cassante then I think what the fuck why did they give them Cassante are they gonna play Malphite are they gonna play Malphite this Akali Lee Sin I think needs a frontline Poppy Malphite they're not gonna play Lulu right they could play Renata could play Renata yeah it's a good pick here Rel is also okay. Lulu is fucking cringe. Don't do that. There's no way they're playing Zeri Lulu at Worlds 2023. Oh my god. Oh, Camille is really risky. Oh, he's done it. Zika is a psycho. Zika is a psycho. Holy fuck. These drafts. Camille got buffs. Yeah, but Camille needs follow up. She's she's got five. I mean, they have got five divers, but they are against Lulu Oriana. Bye. Let's see if they can pull it off. I mean, LNG's draft is way more trad. Respect to LNG. They, they, fight, they fight their way through. I hope you're enjoying all the world's content. Don't forget to click subscribe. Enjoy the video. Ignite TP Cassante. I think he thought that Camille will go Ignite TP and he needs it, but Camille it went so flash. So maybe 369 like is a bit like, oh shit. <laughs> but he's gonna probably win the lane now. I can't think of JDG dropping a game in the series. Oh, I can. I don't think this is a very LNG draft, though. When was the last time Scouts played Akali? I don't think he's played it once this year. It was at Worlds. Yeah, he didn't play Akali once this year. But I'm sure he's good at it. Yeah, the last time he played Akali was at Worlds. It's been, a, it's been a long time. It's been a year. So it's not a very, like, LNG-esque draft, I guess, in mid. I mean, I don't think it's also the best Camille angle, but um, I mean, they have Gala Kaisa, they have Alistar, who's really OP. Whoa, Ruler is crazy. You see that? He second fake ward, jump over wall and trade, get Kaisa ghost. That was kind of smart. That fake ward was kind of smart. I can't believe they're playing Zeri. <laughs> oh, Gala's lasting on the tower. Oh, he lost one, two. Okay, so Scout and Knight have TP back, and Scout is what? He's not down really anything. Troops. He's fine. Oh, Jungler's just full clearing. They're on second clear. They both reset. Zika is going to TP back soon. He shouldn't die unless he makes a mistake. And again, I think one Drake is still okay. Camille Hookshot level one is uh is 70 mana, right? Zika has been really greedy here. He needs to take a reset soon, but I guess Camille best base is what Sheen Ruby. I think they know that Kanavi's lane ganking bot. Crazy, look at this read from Tarzan. I think he's not ganking. I think he's reading the jungles there. Otherwise he would have gone in by now. Bro, they read each other like fucking maniacs. 
He knew he couldn't do Drake there because jungle would go through lane, get bot push just to cover and then collapse on Drake and push him out. Now Kanavi base and now Tarzan could sneak a bot gank. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard. They both just kind of know what each other's doing. Like now Kanavi, is he going to do his top camps? He is. But now JDG should know that they're on Drake because their enemy bot is sweating to cancel their recalls. People are saying blue side win rate is so high. Yeah, I know, but it's also because blue side... Like, every team that was blue side was the higher seed, you know? Does that make sense? Because of the draw. So it's kind of like... I think 81% is really high. But it's also like... The first seed teams are all choosing blue side. Or the higher seed. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I think blue side's always OP. Blue side's been OP for like 2 or 3 years now. Because you either first pick Orianna or Zaya. But in one game yesterday, what was it? They gave them Zaya, Alistar, Orianna. Who did that? I forgot. Oh, nice. Maybe he's dead here. Can Scout clean here? Maybe Scout and Tarzan can kill everyone here. Oh, really nice by Scout. Where's his E? Oh, he hit him. He's polymorphed on his E. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, he didn't get the buff. Oh, he's so close. Ruler lost all his summoners as well. Gala ulted. Gala used all his summons. What happened? Bot. They must have 1v1 each other. Gala, he just E... He goes for the W ult. Wait, no, did he ki did Gala kill him? Gala killed him? Oh, Gala! Holy fuck! Oh, this fight was insane. So Zika gets ulted out of the Camille ult so Kanavi can flash him. Then they ult on him. Hung combos in to try and save him. But then what happens here is nice kick from Tarzan. Scout has a choice here when missing flashes over the wall. He could ult over and kill Lulu, but he stays with Tarzan. Kills 369 instead. Really smart there. I think a lot of players are the tunnel vision, but he doesn't. He gets polymorphed on his E, so he can't kill Kanavi. He would have killed him with his E. Then he realizes if I flash auto, maybe I can get in range for this Herald. Last second. Oh, it expired as he was there. What? He would have got it. Man, LNG's draft. I think Lulu just fucks their whole draft. Oh, God, it's dead. Maybe? Oh, Scout's gonna get cancelled. Oh, my God, LNG, no. Now, all that work Gala did to get the solo kill doesn't matter anymore. It's all gone. It's all disappeared. Oh, this Orianna is absolutely fed. He's going crown as well. Oh, my God, they're gonna have crown Orianna with Lulu against their dive comp. Yeah, Konami's gonna go for top dive here. Scout runs there without TP because he knows they're going to go for this play and Tarzan's covering. This could backfire for JDG. They have no shockwave for 8 seconds. Oh, if they had Orianna ult, that guy would... Oh my god, Scout is just chain CC'd. The Orianna ult is up now. If they had it, Scout was one shot. Oh my god, they couldn't even get something back. Watch out for Orianna ult. What did he get hit by? Vi Q, Vi ult, Cassante Q3, Cassante ult or something? Like, that guy couldn't move. There's a small interaction with Lee Sin versus Lulu. Maybe Tarzan does it. When you Q Lulu, obviously when you Q again, she'll always ult herself to cancel your Q. But if you Q again and then war jump back before you get in range, you can bait out her ult. I hope he does it. It will say it looks sick. It's so, it looks so cool if you can do it. Oh, I think JDG's comp is just going to outscale, isn't it? Unless Camille can get really ahead for side lane or they can start forcing early skirmishes on bot. They have two drakes, but it's come tech soul. It's trash. Oh, Tarzan. The Where's the damage? No, Gala! Yes, he got him. Holy fuck, Tarzan, that was clean. Do they drop this Herald? Maybe they can try fight. Yeah, they're they're swapping for Herald. I think they're gonna fight it. Did Gala have Kraken on that auto? Oh, Scout. He's dead, I think. Oh! Is he out? Ah! Tarzan can maybe clean here. They overchased a bit. Q. They can fight here, energy. Oh no, Gala's mid. Oh, if Gala was here. But Gala's getting mid tower, maybe? No, he's too high. Scout has TP, so does Knight. Maybe it's rematch on Herald. Kanavi no ult. Oh, Gala's upgrading his Q. Oh, Gala, you're. Gala, oh my god, no. He has to flash. Ow, he didn't flash over the wall either. What is he doing? Oh my god, that Q upgrade was so greedy. He didn't even do the recall cancel. I think he failed it. Vile to CD. 
But Gala has no flesh. What is Gala doing? They need to get to mid wave ASAP or they're going to lose mid tower. JG can try and zone away the Kai'Sa. Look at Gala. He has to run all the way around. Maybe they have to force their way in. I think they realize the only way to defend this mid tier one is fighting them. Maybe they're fine. Looks like they're fine. Or they want this time. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. They don't have to fight now. Well, it's kind of worse for LNG this trade. They got Orianna Flash and Shutdown. They lost Camille TP and Akali Flash. Crown for Ori. I think Crown for Ori is good. The problem is, obviously, Kai'Sa W, Akali, Proto Belt can proc it, but they have got five diving champs. So, I mean, it, it will have value, I think. Drake's up. Zika can push bot. Hung's gonna go for a turbo position. They need to get one more midwave here, JDG, and then move to Drake. LNG, not the worst, actually. They fuck the Herald, but it's okay. They get bot tier one. And Camille Alistar have good position. They're already question mark peeing Alistar, though. 369 is marking him off. So the flank doesn't really exist. They've got Scout coming from the right. Gala and Tarzan from the left. Hong and Zika from the bot side. They're a bit too split. Hong might have to use Flash soon. He's buying a lot of time. They're just going to yoink to Drake. They just yoink to Drake on the play bot and run out. They lost Alistar. Oh! The switcheroo! What a heist. They lost Alistar Flash, but it is what it is. The shield power and tenacity doesn't really do anything, though. This Dragon Soul sucks, man. Imagine this was Hextech Soul or something. Hillehong, I told you, this guy's funny. Mm, I'm glad this game's kind of close, but I do think JDG is still really favored. I think JDG is still heavily favored. How so? They have Soul Point. I think JDG outscales and LNG Dragon Soul is trash. Like, if this was any other Soul, there's a chance to win, I think, but... I don't know, I think JDG have too much peel. Kasante Violet for Disruption, Lulu Wolt, Crown Oriana, I just don't see them. They need to have like a really skirmish heavy flank fight. Really hard. They have to just literally outplay them. Let's see if they can outplay them really hard. Oh man, I wish, I wish LNG had any other soul. What do you build on? Akali, you go Shadow Flame second, right? Shadow Flame second and then they can start cooking. I think LNG need a yeah, second item on Akali and then they can start frying, but right now I'm not sure if the Akali has much damage. This is the side lane push that they need on the Camille, but I don't think he's going to be able to push more, obviously. He's actually a level and a half up, almost. Does he have Hydra in base? They need Hydra, Shadow Flame, and then I think you'll see LNG start to contest more. Right now, LNG is giving JDG way too much room. Like, that ward on your red buff entrance, and that ward on their red, like, LNG is letting them have way too much. I think they're waiting. They're waiting for two items on solo lanes. Yeah, LNG need about a minute. I think LNG might give the strike. I don't think they're on the right spikes. They're also not... Like, they could also wait for PD on Kai'Sa and then just send it. I think LNG should play for top tier one. Let's see where Tarzan goes on this base. I think that'll tell us everything. Contesting this dragon? Oh my god, it's hard for LNG. What? They're starting Nash! I think maybe JDG wants to force around their, like, lack of spikes. Oh my god, are they just sending it? Flip the game? Oh my god, he didn't get it. Oh my god, JDG are not human. They're not human. They're just AI. They're AI. What? They don't get their second item spikes, they don't get their item on Kai'Sa. JDG forces, outsmites, outfights. But how does Knight win? How does Kanabi win that smite fight against Lee Sin with Q? Scout goes over the wall, gets ulted by Vi. He kicks Ruler out of the pit, but Ruler just dashes back over. Oh man, they're over grouped as well. The Lulu peel. Yeah. Did Knight self R flash? Look at Knight. Oh my god, he's insane. He's mental. He stopwatched outside the pit, shielded himself, R flash onto three of them. Sombrero won the fight. Look at that shield bow, Zonyas, Gargoyle, Lulu. Like, uh, LNG don't have the damage. <laughs> Look at that. How do you move when you go in? You can't move. But it's not quite going to be enough, and now the Nexus is exposed. Galar is looking for Ruler. Ruler wants a rematch. That Kellen on Alistar. Ah, oh, stopwatch, cringe. Well, I mean, LNG's comp was really hard and was so hard countered. I think 
but respect to JDG for forcing that Nash. What the fuck? I didn't expect that. The option was take a free drink and lose a top tier one. Or just stare down top side. Alright, LNG's on blue side. I knew they would... I told you, didn't I tell you they would ban a zero Orianna? The thing is, Knight's gonna play Syndra Ari now, and I think GG. Zaya ban, give them Maokai. Whoa, Rumble ban, trade Zaya Maokai. I think Zaya ban there was better, no? Jarvan and Rakan, they go Alistar on three, ban out Kai'Sa. I think it's fine. I think LNG can win the draft. Okay, they pick Kai'Sa instead of Alistar, that's even better. They pick Kai'Sa, so now they ban Alistar. Times over, probably and you think that, you maybe real, maybe uh, an maybe. Actually, no, they ban pop. They ban no, they won't play poppy sports. They could ban Jax here. I think JG. Jax ban is not bad. Jax, Alistar. I don't think they can ban out Scout. He'll just play like LeBlanc or something. Not the best, you know, but. Before he does that, he's gonna play Ari. They should ban Alistar. Yeah, I think this. I think they need to ban Jax. I don't know why they're banning Nico. Does does Ari Nico take Scout out? Down as they I don't think it does. Can. They should ban Nautilus now, I think. Or Rel. Do you ban Nautilus or Rel? Really it just goes Syndra, no? Like, I don't understand. They do ban Poppy. I was thinking Poppy is a problem, but uh, of the now they get Rel. But maybe 369 could well. play. Oh, it's because they want to blind Jax on 4 5. Maybe they go Jax Syndra? Jax Syndra? Or on 4. No, wait. Actually, that Poppy ban is good. You give them Rel, but you should get Jax Syndra, right? That's what they're going to do? It's Why crazy are they picking Renekton? Sai last into Jace? What Whoa, the fuck? Scion time, baby. Is it 369 Scion? Aatrox? 369 Aatrox. Ah, Okay, they I didn't expect that 4-5. I really thought LNG would just go Syndra. Jax, it would be like their, their go-to. Look at 369's little smile. Uh, who's draft you prefer? I actually prefer JDZ draft, I think. I think there's a very high chance LNG has no damage. Kanavi, how does he no. How does he know that Jarvan's gonna do four camps and run to his Krugs? Like he did Red Raptors Krugs, Wolves, Top Krugs. Maybe he was just covering off in case he was going for an early top dive, I guess. Mid actually not going too bad, it looks like. Looks like he can hold that wave. Oh, Kan- Kanavi <laughs> knows he lost his red. So to answer back on camp deficit, he overstays and robs his Raptor spawn. And jungle is slightly ahead. Oh, nice dash. 369 would have got the knockup. Look at that. Well, maybe he can kill 369, though. I don't think he dies, actually. Whoa, Zika. 369 tried to get Q3 on the level up, but he actually um, dashed away from it. They can dive 369. Kanavi has to stay. Oh, it's a hard dive. Can stun into combo, but someone's dying if you do that. Oh, push out so nice in this matchup. Matchup is kind of tough. Zika is rolling top. He even has TP up still. Like what? The 2v1 he has TP delayed. advantage, 2v1, up 20 uh, CS, exactly. and the plate, Meanwhile, and stops the 2v1. Uh, Zika saving TP. I mean, he's played the, the whole lane without TP, basically, then. Crazy. He's got a full bot side to clear. Fan. Herald's up, though. Oh, just I see Kanavi bot and he's like still running bot here, Tarzan. He wants to full clear his bot side before Herald. They need to make sure they don't drop Herald. Bit of a mistake, they should easily get it. I think it's level 7 Jarvan before Herald. Damn. Patience, baby. Scout has TP, he's fine in this lane. They must think he's on Herald, but they must be like, wait, he's not on Herald? What the fuck? Does JDG reset on our bot lane here and run top and fight it? Oh my god, Tarzan is so greedy. He's literally full clearing to Herald. Nice, nice. Good good, good game so far for LNG. Really nice. Gala catches safely. No threat of a bot dive. Maybe it's a win for LNG. The, the only problem they have is enemy team has insane bot side vision. Tarzan does his grump and blue here. Resets and runs bot. Okay, I mean this is the slowest game ever, but hopefully on 50 second Drake spawn timer there's a fight, but Gala needs to get the reset off. JDG we have Kraken? Right no, we don't have Kraken. No, but he has tier 2 boots. This wards the they have JDG on their red side jungle is crazy. Thornmail first item it's for Cassante. But Cassante has no TP. How does JDG fight this Drake? No if Zika blows this top wave, I don't think they can fight. They can blow the next one even. But it's JDG, maybe they fight and make a, make a miracle happen somehow. On paper, I don't think they can fight. Unless 369 just runs bot right now. Oh, I, I see what Tarzan did there. So Tarzan knew Dragon was free, but he thought the jungle support from JDG would base, 
the charge, though, and as they base the giving up Drake, he'll herald mid, so they can't defend it, and he gets like maybe an extra plate. But they stopped their recalls just before to make sure that they can clear it, and now they're recall. He like sat in a bush for like five seconds, maybe counting, and then tried to pull out a nice herald play. God, I've never seen a game 0 0 with Jarvan in it. Oh my god. Like, Jarvan is always making something happen. Oh my god. Making something happen, no matter what. What are these Chemtech souls, man? How unlucky is LNG? I'm not talking about Pickums, I'm talking about like RNG. Give them any other soul, and it's like so winnable. Oh, it's being used. Let's go. Let's see whether this is actually going to be that first blood. The Rift Herald is going to be secured, but now Kanavi's in trouble. He's jumped up. He's taken down first blood. Talking about the game for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, we'd probably be still on uh, Shamrock Malphite at this point. It's missing. Oh, missing's gonna die. As well. Could be a second hey, what did Tarzan just do? Flag and drag comes in. He avoids the so, so do not recommend. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Oh! Never actually done it myself. But Stop now, saying traitor. You guys are gonna get there even more mad if I say I want G2 to win, which I do, but I can't show it. Middle, Holy shit, hold up. Okay, we're fine. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Scout's doing great. I was skeptical about the Silas pick, but Tarzan had so much. He like he had so much tempo in the early game. I don't know. Ever since take away that red buff from Kanavi, it felt like he could always just help push out, had time to waste, and Kanavi was trying to catch up all the time. Blue side, blue side, blue side. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This blue side thing is kind of as much as it was first seeds getting blue side because of the draw. It is getting a bit out of hand. But T1 lost on blue side in the grand finals last year, didn't they? When it was uh, blue side 100% win rate up until that game. You didn't like the Renekton pick and it's doing great. Yeah, it is doing really well. Crazy how slow this game is. Like, what, what is going on? In fact, the game will be is, is JDG going to fight this soul? Hopefully they do when the game ends, because right, I can well, tell you this game's rough. The two item power spike for Gala now they need to land some poke here, JDG. Like, when you're poking, it's great to poke the carries, Zaya. yes. But actually, it's also good to poke their engage. If you can poke down their engage, that works really nice. So just hit something, TLDR. Whoa, whoa, Zika! Wait, that W was a half a second. Ruder's getting mid tower. JDG are stalling them. Tower should die to minions. Ruder knows that. Here comes the Maokai ult. Now, yeah, good timing. Oh, he got hit by the Maokai ult as well. 50-50. Zika is low and he wasted a lot here. This is not bad for JDG. And they got it. Missing as an insane engage. Gala might cook though. Tarzan's out. They need to run here, JDG. Oh, scout. Ruler. Oh, Knight just sent it. What's he doing? Ruler. No, he can't. Oh, Knight. He's crazy. Where is bro going? Oh, I actually thought JDG could win this. Because 369 forces Tarzan out. And Missing's engage gets Gala ult straight away and Gala's half. Oh, Hung flash W missed onto Ruler. What is... He goes for Scout? Oh my god, he ran it. I actually think that LNG could have lost the fight if Scout didn't send it like that. If Knight, if Knight didn't full send it, they could have won. Where's the ult from Maokai? Throw them off from Silas Maokai. There it is. He has Zonyas as well. He can play like a psycho. And Kanavi has no stopwatch. Oh. GG. GG. It's blue side OP. I can't. Bro, it's blue side just busted. Is JDG just going to go blue side now and win and then we're all going to... Wow. <laughs> was a very slow game by LNG, but was really nice. LNG is just playing for Drakes every game. I think blue side is better because there's so many OPs right now. Well, not so many, but like I feel like if you get Zaya or Orianna on one, I don't know why they're banning Rumble. I've seen a lot of Rumble bans, but I've only seen it from Doran so far. It looks strong, but 
Rumble seems to be a big LPL ban as well. <laughs> JDG, do a zero ban. Does LNG ban Orianna? I think... Listen, LNG, let's adapt from game one. Drop an Orianna ban. Stop fucking around with me. Just ban Orianna. Whoa, now Rumble's gonna go through, is it? Do they ban Rumble here, JDG? And then LNG ban Orianna? And then what happens? Alistar first pick from JDG then? They ban Alistar. So they want Rumble first pick. So please ban Orianna, please. I think this champ is so annoying. Scout, don't do it. Don't think about it. I can play Akali into it. We can do this. We can do that. Let's give them this. No. Okay, surely they pick Rumble now, I guess. I think Rumble's been clearing scrims, but... No, they go Kai'Sa. LNG is going to get what? They're going to get... They can get, like, Rumble, Jarvan, Ash. Rumble, Jarvan, Varus. They could do Jace, Rumble, Jarvan, Ziggs or something degenerate like that. They could go Vi. They could just go Vi Ari. Fair. Wow. Why don't they just go Poppy now, JDG? Poppy Syndra? Oh, wait, what happens if they go Poppy Syndra? Isn't that insane for, for JDG? Knight Syndra, Poppy Kanavi? They just get smoked, don't they? Oh, yeah. Nico is also really good. I forgot about Knight Nico. Lissandra, Nico, Syndra. I think all three are good here. Am I crazy? Am I like overrating Poppy? Why is this champ not just slammed when you see things like Vi'Ari? I'm missing it's one of the best Rakans in the world, so I don't blame that pick. Maybe LNG bans Poppy, but yeah. So do they go Rumble here? No, they don't. So why is everyone banning Rumble 1, 2, 3 if it's not Insta first pick? Uh, they're definitely banning Poppy now, right? Like, I know I'm overrating it, but like, this needs to happen. If they don't ban Poppy here, I'm never talking about Poppy ever again. Again, because this is Tristana Ari Vi with jungle down for JDG that needs to be picked and Maokai Ben. So it's Sejuani Poppy. Okay, they're banning tops. I'm done. I'm never talking about Poppy again. That champ sucks. It's a Cassante game. Okay, they're teasing Cassante here on four and Gwen is open. I feel like Nautilus, Gwen, Rel are the three champs I think LNG are going to play. Nautilus, Gwen, Rel. Nautilus, Rel with Gwen or they take away Cassante on four. What are you doing, Sika? Okay, they pick the Nautilus, so they're not picking the Cassante, so it's probably Nautilus Gwen. But I'm so mad. Like, this is the best Poppy game ever now. Like, I'm shocked if they don't just go, like, fucking Poppy Cassante here. I'm going schizo in my head. Uh, Wukong! Wukong! <laughs> Wukong! <laughs> I'm never, ever saying the word Poppy in the stream ever again. Kennen's nice in their draft, but Zika can go Jace. Aatrox. Oh, it's Camille game, maybe. You want to go Camille, Fiora, Gwen? Zika, don't go Xante. Camille, Fiora, Gwen? No fun allowed! <laughs> Man, it's funny how Vi Wukong was the MSI meta, and now we've come full circle, circle back to summer, and now it's Vi Wukong. Make sure that because Maokai spent. <laughs> Don't think much is going to happen until 6 on mid jungles. Is he going to start Drake? Yeah, he does. And he has got Bot can just blow this wave and just run there with Q. Get his Grom for it. And you have to expect mm, too, you know, don't know if he gets his wolves. Wow, well, everything's just even. <laughs> we're just, uh, we're waiting for level 6 and we're waiting for Herald spawn. Okay, Herald fight. We will get first blood there. Let's go JDG. No 6 on Nautilus. Bro, Hung, as soon as Ignite's up, he just hooks someone and Ignite's them. That's it. He does that every time. Someone walks up, just hook auto ignite E. Yeah, exactly. This is another That's it. Okay, Herald, 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 Herald. What's the plan? Just give Tarzan? No shot, Bucko, right? They have no TPs to cover. But no, Ruler just won't walk up. Where is Ruler going? Oh, Ruler's dead, no? No, the wave's dead. Oh, Knights as scouts here, though. Oh, Hung! You don't fuck with Hung! He played that perfectly. Our flash. Ah, oh, scout, clean, clean, clean. Ah, uh, Hung's insane, I told you, this guy. He's clean. They just get so cocky, like, what are they doing? Oh, autos him, roots. Hooks him, kills, autos Rakan. Alright, scout, time to carry, baby. Oh, Nautilus Ignite is up. He would have used it there if he got the hook, though, I can tell you that for a fact. Hey, fucking cancel his base, you cringe kids. Go, go ignite them, Hong. Just to show them you don't fuck with you. Sometimes these things happen, you know, is now Tarzan. Charging the Vault Breaker. Is gonna find the Flash on the Kanavi. They get it. Oh, Knight. But Gala's cooking. As now Scout trying to get out of there. 369 gigantic as he gets over the wall. Hung just sees his death as he breaks his stopwatch on the ground. It's a two for two. Two for two. Not bad. The ruler wasn't there. 
It was a really nice play by Knight, but now his flash is on cooldown. So on the Herald, on the Dragon rematch, I think LNG just clears, don't they? I don't know, a Scout has Merc trades, is that good? I like Lucidity on Ari is so nice, isn't it? Don't be Cloud, uh, don't be Cloud or Chemtech Soul. Be fun. Infernal Hextech Mountain, come on. Okay, thank the lords. Alright, now we get a real soul. Okay, Hung, we need you to carry the game and win, but also int a lot for Pickums, but also win. Okay. Is JDG out if they lose? No. So both teams are 2-0. The winner of this goes through to the quarterfinals. The loser of this goes to 2-1, and they'll play another best of three against another team who's 2-1. If they win that, they're through. If they lose, they're 2-2. They'll play another best of three to see if uh, they win that to go through. LNG or JDG, whoever lose, are best of three endies. Herald start, Herald force. When Scout does TP up, you get top wave, you get next mid wave, get top side vision, Herald force. Don't be scared. I think Dragon is going to become more valuable soon. But it looks like they're sneaking it over the wall with Tarzan. With Scuttle Vision, and Kanavi needs to clear his bot camps. So he's probably going to go to red. So what he did there, Tarzan, was he started it, and then he pulled the Herald up to the top of the pit, and then kited around the wall. So they didn't see it. Now the question mark pings come in, because they realize they're on it. But it's too late. But there's a little vision gap there, which he just used really well. Knight has flash. Ooh, this fight's going to be fun. This fight's going to be fun. Now Zika can base TP bot. They get first tower. Maybe they can get mid push into Drake now. Wait, are they going to Herald mid now? And then move into Drake and still fight? And they need to get top wave too and Scout has no TP. I don't think they can do this full rotation, otherwise they're going to lose a lot top. 369 on the top, so they need to start Drake. Okay, now here comes the Drake Force. 369 is basing, he can TP in on the ward next to them. Maybe they all turn on 369 here. 369 is running it. Oh, the Gore Drinker is huge though. Maybe he's not! Holy fuck! What?! Aatrox! What? I thought he was griefing, but he just solo won the fight. Fucking JDG, they always do it. They always do it. They always do it. Just one team fight, GG. Scout doesn't have ult, but he's got TP for top tier one, but he's gonna get cancelled. Oh, 369 takes a lot of damage for the cancel, though. There's gonna be a breaking point here in the game soon where JDG get mid in top tier one and they can start forcing Baron. When that happens is when those towers die. JDG's turn is crazy good when they all have flashes up. They have Rakan, Wukong, Nico, Kaisa. Drake in 58. It's the JDG classic. Dragon is spawning. Enemy team is close to breakpoint items. Do they start Nash? Or do they just... Oh, Kanavi, what? Oh, Scout. Is he dead? Wukong Q. Bomb. Oh, Kanavi position. How did he even get there? Zika no flash. Knight ulted. Kanavi's pushed Tarzan out as well. Here comes the dive on mid. Oh my god, the game's just over. It's crazy. So many teams would have just gone barren after getting the first kill. No, they go mid. And then they dive you again, and then they go Baron. Is it over? Yeah, I think it's over. I don't know, they have a free Drake. So what you do with Dragon when you're this far ahead and have Nash, you don't waste your tempo on Drake. You play Drake as an exit objective. So you push in waves, try and force as much as you can, and then you go to Drake later. Oh, Kanavi's dead. Knight wasted ult as well, he gets, what, Nautilus? They can fight here, maybe. Oh, he missed Charm. Missing! Oh, missing! Nice stopwatch. Ruler? Maybe Ruler's hinting. He's dead. Oh, Knight in 369! Holy fuck, that Nico E. The Nico E. I don't know, you kill one of them and the others are just clutching anyway. It's so annoying, I hate them. They're all just playing too good. Uh, uh, they're monsters. Well, the Nautilus got five deaths, that's good. Ah!